Me and baby girl woke up bright and early this morning because we still need to find her something to wear for Christmas and this weekend. She asked because she pleased wear her natural curls out. So I told her, yeah, I'll let her do it today. I went and got her a little fruit smoothie from Yellow Hammer because we did not realize they sold smoothies. And I've already posted the video of her little shopping spree on my spam account so y'all can go watch that over there. By the time we made it home, y'all, it's so funny. Whenever I buy her clothes and shoes, the first thing she do is try everything gone from her daddy because she won't wear it without his stamp of approval. Now, I told y'all I went and got her a little fruit smoothie for breakfast, so I didn't actually feed her before we went out. So, as soon as we got home, of course, my baby girl was ready to eat, so she cooked herself some eggs and toast. We went ahead and took the rest of her hair down, but after I washed it, which I will post another video of me doing her hair, I had to go ahead and throw it in two plaits because my mama decided to call me with some last-minute plans. Now, despite us going to go get a rental car tomorrow, I had no intentions on putting no gas in this car until next week. So, of course, I had to stop and go get some gas on the way to the store. Now we have a last minute party coming up. Up until about 30 years old, my godmama always thought her birthday was on Christmas Day. So since she discovered that wasn't the case, we all try to go out our way to make sure she celebrates her birthday before Christmas so she actually gets the feel of her birthday. After getting a little groceries, I ran by Burger King to go get us something to eat because I hadn't eaten none earlier that day neither. And I went ahead and made what I was in charge of making for the party, which was really just a couple of sandwiches. But my god sister asked me to make some meatballs for her too. And we were supposed to put it on charcuterie boards. I didn't do that. And y'all, I just want to show y'all how impressionable kids is. I've been growing my relationship with God. While baby girl is starting to mimic all the things that she's seeing me do with my little spiritual growth. And I love it. I told y'all my mama threw this last minute party. So I didn't have no pajamas. So baby girl just threw on some of the pajamas I already had. Then I loaded up all my nieces and nephews gifts. Why my tree look empty now with all their gifts gone? I even just threw on the same pajamas that I been wearing. I love a bae in charge of wrapping up all the food y'all why he double saran wrapped everything like that now y'all know we'll show up nowhere empty handed so we stopped by the liquor store and then my sister asked me to stop by target because she didn't have her little grocery pickup for the party when bay walked in with all them presents y'all he acted like he was santa claus and why when we got there, baby girl's little pajamas was actually matching the pajamas that my mama had on i went to go load all my little presents under the tree i was so happy about this little pandora charm just to discover my mama had bottom for everybody pretty much of course y'all already know the first thing me and Bae gonna do is take some shots when we get there. Then we all stood around and surprised my godmama when she walked in. But y'all, I had ruined the surprise. I had accidentally called her and told her about it, thinking something else was going on for her birthday and completely messed it up. Despite this being last minute and everybody randomly bringing the dish, it still looked like a whole party spread was together. After we ate, of course, we sung happy birthday to my godmama. Then the children was ready to open up their gifts. Y'all, look at the way that baby girl was sitting right at the front of the Christmas tree waiting on her presents like um is anyone gonna pass me anything now my mama and daddy love to do gag gifts they always put the gifts in the wrong type of box to confuse y'all so when baby girl saw the ceiling fan she was like I'm grateful but I don't want this and then she opened it up and it was a huge squishmallows cause that's all we sleep in in our little house of course me and my sisters always gonna get matching gifts they still treat us like we three little matching churn and them was the little Pandora gang y'all they was so happy with their little Pandora bags baby was so happy to give my daddy his little last minute Christmas gift he had got. Everybody pretty much had a speech to deliver with every gift that they passed out. Now I was nervous when my mama gave me a little card for my gift because it felt very light. But y'all, why she see me complaining about Top Golf on TikTok the other day and go out me and Bay a little date night at the little Top Golf? My little niecey poo loved my little gift that I gave her. And y'all, my mama was so adamant on this gift that she got Bay. Why she bought him a Tesla for Christmas, y'all? We died laughing when we opened up that gift. She was like, Jay, I got you a Tessie. Now, my dad had a whole speech for me and my sister's boyfriends. They treat the three of them the same way they treat me and my three, my two sisters. Bay was so happy. Y'all know my man is a gamer. So when he got that Michigan mouse pad, he absolutely lost his mind. Baby girl, this kitchen appliance was the best gift she had got for the night. And as soon as we got home, Bay immediately reset up his little gaming area.